Friday night, game one, the Wolverines got a goal from freshman Alex Guptol, but fell behind the Fighting Irish. Sean Hunwick was very good. An empty netter helped Notre Dame pull away and win 3-1. to one. On Saturday, the Wolverines jumped out to a 2-0 lead. Again, another Guptal goal and great patience shown by A.J. Trias. The Wolverines, in a hard-fought weekend series with the Fighting Irish, split the pair. If you look at the Michigan teams, they're always, uh, you know, second-half teams. Um, and, you know, we kind of got it to a slow start, in the, you know, the first half. So um, we knew we could come back, and, you know, we, uh, we knew once we, uh, you know, started playing good hockey that it would start to roll. I mean, we're just doing all the little things. Uh, you know, we're getting pucks in deep. Our, our forwards are, you know, they're grinding out in the corners and beating guys to the net. And, uh, you know, we're, we're playing strong defense, too. And on top of that, Sean Hunwick is, is playing pretty well right now, so that always helps. We got back from the break, and we're just all on the right track now. Uh, we're jolling together, and... Uh, just sticking to the systems and doing what coach says and we're, we're playing well defensively and that's that's the main thing and from defense we're getting good offense. The Wolverines practicing this week but they have a rare in-season bye week. No games this coming weekend which means a lot of off time for the players. What do they plan on doing with their spare time? I don't know right now. Uh, you know we'll probably just be laying low that kind of thing just you know using that week of rest to kind of get rejuvenated and get back into it. Just, uh, what we're going to do this weekend, I guess, just take it easy, uh, watch how the other teams do, uh, watch the standings really tight in the CCHA. So um, so on Saturday night, you're going to sit at home in front of a computer <laughs> and, and watch what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Good for us that we get some rest and uh, you know, guys can focus on schoolwork and uh, kind of just hang out, maybe go back home to their families. And we're joined right now by the head coach of the Wolverines, Red Berenson, and coach, extra time for the players. Uh, what do you expect out of them? Well, I expect we'll get better this week, Doug, in our uh, practice sessions. We want to focus on uh, there's four or five areas that we need to get a lot better at. So we'll be working on that in practice. We'll have video sessions, uh, obviously team meetings, and then we'll have some fun as well, some good competition, some uh, friendly competition, if you would. Since we don't play games this Saturday, we'll create our own little game. Now, they have Friday and Saturday off. Do you expect them to be hitting the books or what? Well, I think that's the one thing that all students uh, realize that, uh, that when you have a little bit of time off, there's always something to do. And I know that's one thing I didn't like about school. I was never done with the schoolwork that, was, that needed to be done if you're going to do a good job. And I think most of our players want to do a good job in school. What are some of the things you hope to get straightened out in practice this week? Well, I think our power play is making strides, and there's parts of it that has to get better. We'll keep working on that. Uh, the same thing with our penalty killing. I mean, we were, uh, I, I think we took big strides in the last two weeks, but we have to keep working on that. Uh, parts of our D zone, every team is trying to get better in the defensive zone. Uh, we give up some unearned goals. Uh, this weekend because of defensive zone coverage, back checking. Uh, these aren't glamorous. And then puck with the puck, Doug, I think we can be a better team on the rush. You know, we've always prided ourselves in working hard to get the puck. Now let's do something with it. Alex Guptal scores for you on Friday night. He, he scored again on Saturday. He continues to shine for you. This freshman has just been outstanding and has exceeded, I know in talking to you earlier this year, he exceeded your expectations. Well, it's not just the fact that he's scoring, Doug. And, you know, let's face it, the goals he scored this weekend were tipping goals. They were deflections because he was standing in front of the net and our defenseman got shots through. And, and good for him. And those were huge goals, by the way. But uh, it's the rest of his game. He's fitting in on, on one of our top lines. He's moving the puck well. He's learning how to play better in his own zone and be a better two-way player. Sean Hunwick had a little scrap on Friday night. Do you think that Notre Dame was taking some liberties with your goalkeeper? Well, if you watch the game, Doug, in the first period, I mean, I can't tell you how many times he was bumped or run into or just about run over. And, uh, we, you know, we, we depend on the referees, the officials, to protect goalies and to keep control of the game. And... Uh, and we don't want to take that into our own hands because that's that's what if the referees don't look after it, then the team's taken into their own hands. And now you've got chaos. So uh, we've got to make sure the referees do a better job of taking care of the goalies both on both teams. And it seems like Sean's not the kind of guy that stands by idly. It's not in his personality. Well, he you know, he's trying to defend himself, too. And, you know, he's a target out there and uh, and we've got to protect him. Late in the game, you had some opportunities to tie this game. After the game was over, did you have that feeling like, well, we might have outplayed him and lost? Yeah, I did, Doug. There were parts of the game where uh, we had three breakaways, for example, in that game that we did not score on. You're talking about the Friday night game. 
and uh, and, and let's face it, it was a 2-1 game most of the night until they scored in the empty net. So it was a close game. We had glorious chances to score. We didn't capitalize on them. It cost us the game. Saturday, you mentioned Guptill's goal, A.J. Trius's goal. What patience. That was a high-end goal. Well, that was, and that was, and that turned out to be the winning goal that was scored in the second period. So here it was, a broken play on the power play. A.J. gets a puck, fakes a shot, takes a step, takes a look, and he shoots from a bad angle. It's not a good goal from the goalie stamp. It's a great goal from a goal scorer's uh, point of view, and he hit the net. You know, Doug, we had 23 scoring chances in the third period on Friday. We had 10 of them blocked, and we missed the net on seven. So that's 17 of 23, never even got to the net. And uh, and whereas Saturday night, at least we got our shots on the net, and it turns out to be a goal. When the horn sounded on Saturday, the look of your kids on the ice was like this was a battle, that that weekend series was a true battle between Michigan and Notre Dame. There, there was relief and also exhaustion is what it looked like to me. Well, no question. It was a, it was a man's game. Uh, they were very physical. They came at us hard. And, uh, and and even when we took over, like we were the better team on uh, Saturday in the first period, they came back and pushed back. And from then on, we were on our heels on, on Saturday. But uh, overall, I liked our team effort. I liked our focus. And, uh, and I like our team, uh, considering everything after the weekend. Coach, thanks for your time. Good. Thanks, Doug.